Let's talk about it with retired Air Force Brigadier General Robert Spaulding. He's got a brand new book out called Stealth War, how China took over while America's elite slept. General, good to have you back with us. Great to be here. Okay, so let's start with what the president said today when he was asked about trade as links with any search into the Biden's past in China. I want to do a trade deal with China, but only if it's good for our country, and it could happen. So he, ha he says there are two separate topics. Derek Scissors, quoted in the New York Times, he's a resident scholar at AEI, said, Mr. Trump had just handed Democrats the perfect criticism about his trade deal, that he accepted a lukewarm deal because he wanted the Chinese to help him get dirt on his political enemies. Do you have to worry about the optics, even if the president says these two are not going to be connected? Well, I don't think so. And the reason I don't think you need to worry about the optics is because if you look across the last four administrations prior to him, to Bush, Clinton, Obama, they didn't do anything with regard to what China was doing to this country in terms of destroying our industrial base. So he's the first one to actually put on tariffs. So when I get asked all the time, well, what about the fact that he said, you know, she's a great guy? Look at what he's doing. Look at the policies. Look at the outcomes. They're completely different than, you know, and I experienced this in the Obama administration. The Obama administration absolutely did nothing with regard to what China was doing, particularly ZTE. We could have put ZTE on the entity list back then. They refused to. Why? They wanted cooperation on North Korea and climate change. This president has whatever he said. Me now is Neil Katyal, former acting solicitor general under President Obama and an MSNBC legal analyst. He says those text messages between U.S. diplomats about Ukraine make impeaching President Trump, quote, constitutionally required. And Evelyn Farkas, she's former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Russia and Ukraine and an MSNBC national security analyst. Welcome to both of you. Neil, while I, I, I want to actually uh, dispense with the, the, what, what the CIA general counsel may have done and what the Justice Department may have thinking. You know the Justice Department as well as anybody, though I'm not going to say you know Bill Barr's thinking as well as anybody. I kind of do. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, if it's not a campaign finance referral, what could it be? Well, I think it could be something like bribery, extortion. Possibly it's not the referral wasn't at Trump. We don't know that. It could have been at someone lower, in which case. An abundance of evidence now sits in our faces that President Trump has been trading American interests for his personal interests. The text messages show that the whole apparatus of American diplomacy knew the deal. Trump would deliver us good, good deliver U.S. goodwill if and only if a foreign government delivered dirt on his political enemies. The prime question now is where the United States Congress will proceed to its duty under the Constitution and hold this president accountable. Those opposed to a judgment will exploit, no doubt, every opportunity to delay and ultimately prevent a congressional verdict on the president's conduct. The goal of such delays will be not justice or constitutional rule, but their denial. Knowing this, Speaker Pelosi is wise to keep the focus tight on those presidential activities that clearly reveal abuse of power. If there is a member of Congress who believes it is legitimate for a president to demand dirt on a partisan rival as a price for administering his office in the country's interest, that member of Congress should say so. And, but let his or her colleagues render their own judgment as well. I'm confident that few Americans think it is legitimate or constitutional for a president to sell out his interest, U.S. interests, in what's now been clearly documented as a sleazy, desperate search for anything that could force people into voting for the incumbent president. What's important now is committed action and a House of Representatives schedule that gets impeachment decided while it can be decided, a drive that this president and his allies will use every tactic to stall and eventually kill. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos. So let me tell you, this is pretty, and this is, and this is the last caucus conversation we've had. Do you know this is really unprecedented? This is the first time we've ever had a situation like this. So they're trying to figure out, no joke. They're trying to figure out, well, is it the D.C. police that goes and gets them? No, no. Where do we hold them? I mean, this is the kind of, like, I'm not in those kinds of conversations, but I'm asking, like, 
you know, what, what happens? And they're like, well, Rashida, we're trying to figure it out ourselves because this is uncharted territory. I'm sorry, I know, but no, I'm telling you that they, they the, 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 they're trying to be like, well, where are we going to put them? Where are we going to hold? No, I mean, I mean, those are the kinds of things they're trying to tread carefully. I mean, this is, I, I ask, the, I'm like you all. I ask the same questions. Well, what happens when they don't comply? I mean, the fact of the matter is, I we held Barr and uh, Secretary Ross from Commerce, the Secretary of Commerce, in contempt. Well, what happens if they don't continue to not comply? And everybody's looking at each other, we're like, we haven't had this ever happen before. So I just want you to know, I will relay your message. I will tell them they can hold off those people right here in Detroit. We'll take care of them. Uh, and make sure they show up to the committee hearings. We won't hurt up, we'll just make sure they come and show up, right? I'll make sure that you're in charge.